It's been five months now since we launched our most ambitious GoFundMe campaign, the 110K campaign, which was really to mark the 110th anniversary of when our great-great-grandfather purchased this beautiful historic property, Greenbank Farm. As the current caretakers of this stunning property, our goal is to ensure that it remains a sanctuary for our Frisian horses for many years to come. The campaign was really born out of complete necessity following one of the wettest winters on record which really highlighted the urgent need to improve the facilities that we have at the farm. These improvements are essential in helping the Frisian horses in our sanctuary to live their very best lives. Unfortunately our fundraising efforts had to be put temporarily on hold because of an unexpected absolutely heartbreaking situation. Many of you will know our beloved teddy bear required really intensive veterinary care this year which led us to launch a separate campaign dedicated simply to him and helping with his medical journey. Despite all of yours and ours best efforts we did lose Bear um, and it's a loss that's deeply felt by everybody who, who knew and loved him. So our primary aim is to improve the facilities for the Frisian horses that we care for here at the sanctuary so we can continue to share them with our visitors both virtually and physically. Having been let down by the authorities and governing bodies in the UK for many, many years who claim that they want to help rural enterprises but continue to fail, we reached out to you, everyday people with a true love of animals and an understanding passion and belief in what it is we're trying to do here at our 17th century farm here in the Lake District in order to ensure that this work can continue for many years to come we wanted to find a way to preserve the historic buildings already here rather than look for temporary solutions that wouldn't stand the test of time and my goodness you've all brought us such a long way since April five months ago with your help, we're over halfway there, and with four months left of our 110th anniversary year, I remain hopeful that we can hit the target and get the work completed before the worst of the winter hits us once again. We are beyond grateful to have raised nearly £66,000, and these funds have allowed us to start on some of the critical upgrades that will and are already having a direct impact on the care that we're able to provide these wonderful, wonderful horses. Of the 66,000, we've so far spent just short of 45,000 pounds. We do need a further 44,000 pounds, but for now, this is where your generous contributions have been spent. Let's start with Bessie's barn here. The roof on this building was dangerously close to collapsing. It had rotten beams, the walls were crumbling, and inevitably, with that came a huge number of leaks that were just rotting the whole area and it really served no purpose whatsoever. With your help and in particular a very generous and kind donation from Bessie the German Shepherd's mum, Lindsay, the roof was repaired and the whole building has now been renovated. Whilst we wait for the final fitting, which is a stable door that Chris is making, it's become a real firm favourite resting spot for our yard free rainers. So far, we've spent £13,400 of the £15,500 allocated to this project. Then we've got the main barn here, where the free rainers are gathering at the moment. In here, we've completed a lot of work on the floors to make them a more hygienic and manageable space for the horses. We've currently spent £5,500 of the £10,000 that has been allocated to this area. And if we hit target, then there's further improvements that we can make in this area to make it a nicer, safer space for the horses. Next, we have the boys' winter turnout. It was so wet last year that in preparation for another harsh winter ahead, we allocated £25,000 to this area because we used this as winter turnout for the boys last year, which wasn't ideal as it really doesn't drain as well as the 14-acre field that we've traditionally used for all the horses over winter. Because we've got more boys now in the sanctuary, we had to split them up from the girls because there was all sorts of schoolboy antics going on about them deciding which boy was most popular with which girl. So we have to have two separate areas for them now over the winter. So we focused on creating this dry area for the boys so that they can get themselves out of the mud rather than be stood there sloshing around in it. 
and we've opted for a more temporary structure here to avoid the complications of planning. We have a mobile field shelter that's arriving next week. Although it's not a, a permanent structure, it is a particularly robust one with an upgraded roof. So with any luck, it should last longer than many would do and stand up to the Lake District weather. This is going to provide a really valuable space for the boys who'll still be able to move around rather than being confined to just a stable, but they'll have a shelter as well, which they can go into when the weather is particularly bad. We still have the fencing and the water and the covered ring feeder to organise. And to date, we've spent £19,500 out of the £25,000 that's been allocated. Finally, the biggest project of this campaign the Hoytsery Joggers House, that obviously isn't there right now. The whole building was originally destroyed in the storm, but it wasn't built to last at the time, particularly the roof. So as I say, it's the biggest part of our project, requiring a lot of additional groundwork to help make this into not only a nice little house for them, but a suitable area for the older generations, particularly those with advanced arthritis who need a shelter, but also need a nice, soft and comfortable surface in which they can keep moving around on those arthritic joints that do seize up if they stand in and stand still for too long. The estimated cost of doing this whole area is £55,000. So far, we've spent 12400 on all the groundwork, the drainage, the new water supply and the concrete for the footings on the house itself. Our builder, Michael, has been held up on his last job, but he has managed to get the footings in place and we're hopeful that the actual rebuild will start very soon. It really is going to be a push to get this completed in time for winter and I'm very conscious that we need to meet that 110k target to get it completed. If you are in a position to support us further, we've got some really unique opportunities available. We've got two original cornerstones remaining on the Hoytzer and Jubbers house that can be engraved with your name or a short message for £5,000. You could also choose to be recognised as one of our star or crown donors who will be mentioned in the Hoytzer and Jubbers house. But however you choose... You're very gorgeous. Sorry, Hoyts are wanted kisses. However you choose to support us, we're grateful for everything, even if it's a like, a share, a subscription. <laughs> because these horses are just amazing and they just deserve everything that we can give them for the rest of their days. So, sorry for the distraction of Hoitzer. He clearly always likes to steal the camera. But thank you all for all your support, all your generosity. And I really look forward to being able to hit this target with you all and to carry on sharing these beautiful beasties with you for many, many years to come. I wake up in the morning with a smile on my face Feeling thankful for the love and the happiness we chase Sun is shining brightly, sky so blue and clear With every breath I take, I'm grateful you are near So grateful, yeah Thank you for the laughter, thank you for the tears